Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the most hotly anticipated SUV of the year, the 2020 Mahindra Thar. This all new Mahindra Thar has been completely redesigned from the ground up when compared to the old Mahindra Thar. And in this video, we'll take a detailed look at its masculine and butch exteriors, its much more comfortable and feature laden interiors, its off roading capability, which is still very much intact as well as its new phone adaptation to conquer the urban jungle. Let's get started now. Alright guys, so starting with the design. This vehicle is an unmistakable Mahindra Thar. The round headlights, the squared off face, the wide flat out wheel arches are all reminiscent of the original Thar and Mahindra have done a great job in ensuring this vehicle looks modern as well as retains the classic retro touches of the original Thar. We have LED lights and the indicators mounted on the fender, as well as fog lights which are mounted deep inside the protruding front bumper. More on the front bumper design when we go off-roading. Talking about the side profile, we have these massive wheel arches which are filled out really well by the equally massive 255-65 section R18 rubber and these wheels also have the Thar badge in them. Talking about Thar badges, this car really has a lot of badges. We have a tar badge on the side, on the front bumper, on the mirrors, on the wheels and even on the seats. Mahindra are really very proud of the Mahindra Thar. We also have exposed door hinges which are akin to the older Mahindra Thar. And the side profile is really boxy and robust and gives this car a don't mess with me attitude. We also have the 4x4 badging on the back which is again similar to the old Thar. And it's lovely how Mahindra have added these old details to give the car the classic feel as well. Moving to the rear, we have the classic boxy shape which is broken up by these modern looking LED lights which really give the rear of the vehicle a modern yet classy look. The spare tyre is absolutely massive and is mounted on the tailgate and this tailgate opens in two parts. The tailgate opens sideways and this glass hatch opens upwards. Opening the rear hatch, we get our first look at the interior and we'll definitely get inside to check out just how much space the new tyre has. Talking about boot space, that's quite limited over here, but we do get a roll bar to give you added protection, especially when you're off-roading. The rear seats do fold flat, so you can increase boot carrying capacity if you want to. Quality levels are really on another level with this new Thar, especially when you compare it to the old Thar. The way the rear door closes, it has a soft close feel, which is unheard of in this category of vehicles. The left of the vehicle has the fuel door at the back, which is lockable with the key like the old Mahindra Thar and we also have the engine badging on the side. This being the diesel version has the MHOP 130 badge along with the antenna for the radio. That. Moving inside, so the doors open nice and wide and we have yet another Thar nameplate. We also have a switch to control the mirrors and we also get door pockets which can hold 1 litre bottles. Talking about the seats, so the seats are a 200% improvement from the old Thar. They are much more comfortable. They have good side bolstering as well as adjustment for lumbar support which means getting into a comfortable driving position and driving long distances is an absolute breeze. We now jump into the test drive car to see how the gauges work. So we have an analog speedometer and tachometer as well as a small multi-information display in the center. The main infotainment system is a 7 inch touchscreen unit and this system really is very nice and easy to use and does have a lot of inbuilt functionality. Talking about the steering wheel. So this steering wheel though plastic is nice to hold and you also get buttons for the cruise control on the right as well as buttons for the media controls on the left. Moving to the center console, you have your AC controls, two USB ports and a 12 volt socket, a small storage space, your gear lever, the 4x4 lever, your power window switches and two cup holders also. Talking about sun visors, the driver's side gets only a toll receipt holder but the passenger side gets a mirror but no light placement. The internal mirror also is not auto dimming. Let's now check out the rear seat space of the new Thar. So the 2020 Thar gets front facing rear seats and accessing them also is quite easy. You just pull a lever on either the driver or the passenger side and this brings the backrest down as well as move the seat forward giving you enough space to climb inside. Once you heave yourself inside, you'll be actually surprised to see how spacious it is back here. Headroom is adequate and you actually don't feel claustrophobic inside. You have a grab handle on both sides as well as roof mounted speakers and 3 point seat belts for safety as well. The rear seat however is a straight 2 seater 
as the wheel wells really eat into cabin space. Getting comfortable back here is really easy as the backrest can be inclined further and you do have adequate legroom and knee room also. Making this seat quite comfortable for long distances also. So guys this pretty much sums up the interior of the new Mahindra Thar. Let's now get driving and see if this new Thar can match up to the legendary reputation of his predecessor. Actually before we get driving let's take a quick look under the bonnet to check out the brand new engine powering the new Thar. As always opening the bonnet is a two step process where you, you pull the lever under the dashboard and undo two clips on either side of the engine to open the bonnet. However, opening the bonnet is not so easy especially with your left hand and if you are not going to the gym because it is quite heavy. Luckily I was able to open it with my right hand so now we can finally take a look at the engine. And there we have it the brand new 2.2 litre MHawk motor and surprisingly this bonnet does not have any insulation on it. In spite of this, this engine is really refined especially for large capacity diesel Mahindra. So finally let's get driving now. Alright guys, being a Mahindra Thar, it's only fair that we start the driving experience off-road. And me not wanting to be the first YouTuber to crash the new Mahindra Thar, let's leave the off-roading to the experts and we have here Mr. Kumar from Mahindra to show us the ropes of the new Thar off-road. So the new Thar has quite a few off-roading features which really help to improve its capability off-road. We saw in the beginning, the lever to shift between 2 high, 4 high and 4 low is now electronic as compared to the older mechanical connection. We also have a mechanically locking rear differential as well as something called a brake lock differential which helps to improve traction on slippery surfaces. All this off-roading tech work together seamlessly to ensure that you look like a hero while the Thar does all the hard work. You guys might have also noticed that the power window switches are placed on the center console and not on the doors. The reason for that is just like the old Thar this new Thar also has removable doors to give you the true off-roading experience. The front and rear bumpers are also finished in plastic as a painted bumper would show damages of off-roading much more easily. The new Thar has a water weighting capability of 650mm and also has supporting features like a roof motor speaker system and washable floors with a drain plug to ensure that even if water does enter the cabin, it can be easily taken out without damaging anything. Also worth mentioning is that Automotive Mahindra, the Mahindra dealership in Chennai, has constructed this off-road course right in the heart of the city in Nongambakam to give potential customers a true feel of what the Thar is capable of off-road. Looks like the Mahindra Thar has passed the off-road test with ease. Let's now take it on-road to see if the new Thar has fixed all the issues of the old Thar. Alright guys, so driving the new Mahindra Thar. The first thing you notice when you start driving is the excellent visibility available all round. The windshield is nice and wide and the big outside rear view mirrors give a good view of what's behind you. The driving position too is really high and commanding and you do feel like king of the road while driving the new Thar. Refinement levels too are on a different level in this new vehicle. The old Thar, while excellent off-road, had on-road banners which left a lot to be desired. The NVH levels were not very good and there's always a sense of vibration, giving the vehicle a very rugged and off-roady feel. This new Thar, however, is really very refined. This is thanks to the brand new 2.2 liter MHawk CRDI motor producing 130 horsepower and 300 meters of torque, which is really very refined and only gets vocal if you rev it too hard. There's also a brand new turbo petrol motor, the 2 liter M Stallion, producing 150 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. And if you really want ultimate levels of refinement, that's the motor to go for. Talking transmission options, you have two to choose from. A 6-speed manual or a 6-speed torque converter automatic. The 6-speed manual is quite nice to use and the gears do slot in quite well. The throw is a bit long, but this is an off-roader, not a sports car. The clutch action too is quite nice as well. The brakes on the new Thar are really very good and do give a sense of confidence unlike the old Thar. Talking about refinement levels, the new fixed hardtop available standard on the LX trim is a big reason for the newfound sense of refinement on the new Thar. The old Thar was available only with a soft top but the new Thar is available with a hard top, a soft top and even a convertible top so that customers can choose exactly what Thar they want. Talking about trim levels, 
there are four on offer. We have the base AX standard, the AX, the AX optional and the top spec LX trim. The top spec LX or the luxury trim are for people who want a car for the city commute with the occasional off-road drive. The adventure trim are for real off-road junkies who really enjoy driving their cars off-road and want a capable vehicle for the off-road experience as well as a vehicle that won't break their back when they drive it on-road. Talking about ride and handling balance, the new Thar is set up very nicely. The ride is good on smooth roads and this vehicle really pummels bumps into submission. It's only the really sharp bumps that catch out the vehicle and bring a bit of bounciness to the ride. Talking about handling, this is a proper ladder frame SUV so you can't expect this vehicle to handle like a sports car. But for such a big SUV, it handles its weight very well and it does give enough confidence to drive this car at speed also. So guys, the 2020 Mahindra Thar, does it live up to all the hype and is it really worth buying? Well the old Thar was an excellent off-roader but it ran out of its capabilities when it came to on-road performance. This new Thar retains the old world charm of the old one along with its excellent off-road capabilities and brings to the table a new found set of on-road capabilities and really make this new one a good all-rounder. So yes, the new Thar definitely does live up to the hype and expectations. So, a huge shout out and thanks to Ms. Vijay Lakshmi, the general manager and Mr. Vijayanand from Automotive Mahindra for making this review possible. Automotive Mahindra is one of the best Mahindra dealerships in Chennai and is located in the heart of the city. They have on display the latest from Mahindra and have the test drive vehicle readily available to give customers the proper experience they require. Do visit them if you plan to buy a Mahindra and also if you plan to off-road the Thar, you know where to go. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and consider hitting the subscribe button also. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.